When it comes to country music, there are but a few names that define legendary, and Toby Keith is among those names. Keith is one of the most famous artists in the genre. He has successfully crossed over to the pop charts on multiple occasions, and with success, he's also earned and kept the respect of serious country fans. Adding to his immense popularity as a musician, Keith has appeared in films and on TVs and even has several business ventures. Indeed, from his fame and investments, Keith has amassed a fortune. But how does he spend his millions? Let's find out. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos. Before we tell you how Toby Keith spends his dough, let's look at how he got to such a wealthy status. Toby Keith was born in Clinton, Oklahoma in 1961. And in the 80s, Keith and his band Easy Money played clubs and bars around Oklahoma and Texas and slowly grew a following. He moved to Nashville to try and break into the industry, but didn't initially find success. This drawback made Keith to almost leave music altogether. However, by chance, a record executive heard Keith's demo and ended up signing him. And the rest of the story can be heard at the peaks of the Billboard country charts. As we all know, Keith's music career played a major part in his fortune. According to Celebrity Net Worth, his current net worth is $365 million. This is quite a substantial amount considering his first contract was for $20,000. However, in 1993, after the release of his debut album, he made between $5,000 and $10,000 for each concert. And after the next album, this became $20,000 per concert. In addition to this, many of his albums went platinum, helping him bring in more money with the record companies he worked with. However, Keith's wealth is not only sourced from his music. Keith has several business investments that boosts his income. In 2004, he invested a large amount of money in Big Machine Records, which would sign artists like Taylor Swift and Rascal Flatts. He also owns his own record label, Show Dog Universal Music, and of course, his own restaurant chain, I Love This Bar & Grill. Quite a unique name, wouldn't you agree? Well, he also has a line of clothing and a signature brand of tequila, and all these investments have paid off. And today, he's known just as much for being a businessman as he is for being a musician. Well, now that we know how he bags his money, let's look how he spends it. And to give you a hint, it involves cars and real estate that will blow your mind. Keith's Homes, Nashville Crash Pad Well, we must admit it, almost all the country musicians have a house in Nashville. The award-winning country singer Toby Keith is one of the many musicians who's got a home in Nashville, located in West End Avenue. Keith's Crash Pad is a 3,428-square-foot estate and is part of the development with just two bedrooms. The three-story tile-roofed Tuscan-inspired residence has two and a half bathrooms with a private stairway to the third floor. The master bedroom features a bathroom with a separate tub and shower, a walk-in closet, and strangely, the stacked washer and dryer. Rendered in rich bronzy tones with heavy draperies around the large windows, the house has a tiny and beautiful backyard that features an equally small pool which doesn't look like a great place to hang out. And further, the kitchen is decorated with a giant magazine rack. Oklahoma Range Home Walk through the big iron and brick gates of Toby Keith's dream walk-in farms outside of Norman, Oklahoma, and you better have your game on. Family game nights happen early and often. Basketball, racquetball, fishing, and around-the-table throwdowns of Risk and Uno. Despite the competition, being with the family on this 160-acre ranch away from the bright concert lights, long nights on the tour bus, or the frantic industry energy in Nashville is a relaxing oasis from this Oklahoma-born country star. It's taken Keith and his wife Trisha 12 years to create this dream home on the green rolling plains of Oklahoma. The home includes an 8,900-square-foot main house featuring a state-of-the-art theater room and kitchen and a 2,500-square-foot cabana with swimming, relaxing, and grilling spaces. The property also includes a well-stocked lake where the family can fish for bass, perch, and catfish, or just relax out on the dock and watch water shoot up from the lake-fed fountain. Then there's an eight-car, two-story, 6,000-square-foot garage with space for his autos and cars. Cars and Autos when it comes to vehicles, Toby Keith is a man that puts his dough on the classics. Now, let's take a look at his collection. A 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. With a collection of cars like a 1963 Chevy Impala, a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am, and a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass, it seems like country singer Toby Keith loves to keep the vintage cars. Introduced as a unibody compact vehicle in 1961, the Oldsmobile division of General Motors made the Oldsmobile Cutlass. During the 1970s, the Cutlass became one of the most popular nameplates in the industry, and Oldsmobile used the name as almost a submark. However, several different vehicles came up with the name Cutlass simultaneously, adding to the confusion of the automobile market during the 1980s. A 1969 Mach 1 Ford Mustang 
Longest surviving of the affordable breed of classic American muscle cars, the Ford Mustang is a popular household automotive name. It's the only one of the original pony cars that enjoyed an interrupted production run. The current Ford Mustang offers something for everyone. Whether you want a sporty, fuel-efficient commuter or a road-ripping muscle car, there's likely a Mustang for you. Country singer-musician Toby Keith owns this legendary car. Not only has plenty of appeal, but also offers style and performance any car buff would want. 1963 Chevy Impala Keith also owns a vintage 1963 Chevrolet Impala, a model which Chevrolet chief engineer Ed Cole designed in 1958. The Impala became a separate Chevy model in 1959, and it became America's best-selling car the same year, with a total sale exceeding 13 million. However, the same model got recycled in 1963 with rear fenders and pointed front crisp lines and a low, sporty stance. Toby's dad loved to use a chocolate brown colored Impala to take young Toby out to oil fields to work. And as per Toby, his 1963 Chevy Impala is just like it and about near perfect. 1977 Pontiac Trans Am Another classic in Keith's collection is a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. This was the car that defined being young and free in the 1970s. Carrying the muscular car image with style and the essential hardware that gained instant street credibility. It was notably one of the best models designed at the GM Styling Studios by Ted Schroeder. 1930 Lincoln It was reported that Toby Keith sold his 1930 Lincoln Model L at the 25th Annual Cruise League Collector Car Show in Oklahoma City. Toby's car is a designated Classic Car Club of America car. Moreover, the sale also included an autographed life-size sign of Keith along with four tickets and backstage passes to the Keith Concerts of the Buyer's Choice during his tour. Ford Expedition with a black Ford Expedition limousine, Toby Keith rides in style to his destination. Fully loaded with two TVs, VCR, and a party-starting audio system, the car can easily carry 16 passengers with style and comfort. Further, the interiors decorated with fiber-optic lighting and stargazer mirrored ceiling will take your breath away. With its irresistible features and its charm, it will make you feel as if there was no other means of luxury travel. Moreover, the privacy divider delivers more of a personal feel, and one can enjoy refreshments stored in two ice chests. Harley-Davidson Bikes Toby Keith also enjoys rolling on two wheels. He has three Harley-Davidson bikes that are perfect for cruising on highways. With their distinctive design and exhaust note, Harley bikes are primarily known for their tradition of heavy customization that gave rise to the chopper style of motorcycle. All the Harley-Davidson bikes come equipped with big, powerful, air-cooled 45-degree V-twin engines. And that is how Toby Keith spends his money. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. And just be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. And please leave us a like and share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. We value your feedback. And feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. I'm Mickey V. And until next time, goodbye.